This video demonstrates how to set up and perform an ultrasound scan of the pediatric abdomen. Equipment required includes the following. An ultrasound machine, a selection of transducers suitable for pediatric ultrasound, an examination table, positioning aids such as wedge sponges or pillows, a chair, acoustic gel, antibacterial wipes or solution, clean cloths, gloves, bed linen, distractions for the child such as toys or books, and a sonographer's worksheet. Keep the following considerations in mind when communicating with a pediatric patient. Appear happy and friendly as children are often anxious and scared, so it is important to comfort them. Remember to smile and introduce yourself to them. Ask the guardian to bring along a range of toys and distract the child. Where possible, perform as much of the patient preparation in the less distressing waiting room and ensure the machine settings are ready and everything is set up before the patient is brought to the scanning room. Ask the child to climb onto or for the guardian to lift the child onto the examination table. The child's signs and symptoms and medical history may often be obtained verbally from the guardian. However, when asked, where are you sore or where is it painful, most children are able to point to a region. Ask the child to lie on their back as still as possible. Ask the patient to hold their breath, but as younger children are often not good at controlling their breathing, images must be captured during the child's normal inspiration or expiration. Children are good at pushing their tummies out to make them look fat, and this can help with the visualization of the organs. After explaining to children over the age of four years that their tummy will be seen on TV, they are usually able to remain still. During the scan, talk to the patient to comfort and distract them. There are many things to talk to the child about, such as, have they seen their tummy on TV before? What are they doing after the scan? Remember when scanning pediatric patients, their chests and pelvises are relatively small, and the abdomen is prominent, with the abdominal organs being smaller in size and lying higher in infants. Patients in the neonatal or pediatric ICU are especially...